Today's video is about how to add fractions. Adding fractions with the same denominator. The denominator is the number at the bottom of the fraction. An easy way to remember this is denominator. The D stands for down, so therefore it is at the bottom of a fraction. The numerator is the number at the top of a fraction. How you add fractions is, you first start with the numerator. In this case, 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So therefore, the numerator of our answer will be 3. When you are adding fractions with the same denominator, the denominator will not change. So therefore, 1 fifth plus 2 fifths is equal to 3 fifths. When you are adding fractions with different denominators, it gets a little more difficult. But don't worry, it's not that hard. What you do is you find the LCM of the two denominators. The LCM is the lowest common multiple. So what you do to find the LCM, or the lowest common multiple, you find a few of the multiples of the two denominators, in this case, 5 and 10. So. The multiples that we have written down for 5 are 5, 10, 15, and 20. And the multiples we have written down for 10 are 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now, as you can see, there are two multiples that are common, 10 and 20. But they are asking for the lowest common multiple. So therefore, we go with 10. The reason we are doing this is because next we are going to be making our denominators both the same using our LCM. Our LCM in this case is 10. As you can see, one of the fractions denominator is already 10. So we just have to change 2 fifths into something over 10. In order for us to get our denominator 10. What we have to do is times our denominator by 2 because 5 times 2 equals 10. So therefore our denominator times 2 is 10. But what we do to the bottom we must do to the top. So our numerator times 2 is 4. So therefore that equals 4 tenths. But now that is not the answer. We, our new number sentence is so, our new number sentence is 4 over 10 plus 3 over 10. So, as you can remember from our previous sum, we leave the denominator the same and our, we add our numerators first. So, 4 plus 3 is 7. And we leave the denominator the same, so the denominator is 10. So, therefore, our answer is 7 over 10. I know this might seem scary at first, but practice makes perfect, and after a while, you'll get the hang of it. Good luck, and enjoy math.